Hey yo goat format players, it's Skilled Brown Magician here and I have the next deck profile in the subscriber recommended series. And this one goes out to Necromancy for Kids, who is another small goat format YouTube channel. So I'd recommend that you go check him out. He actually has a deck that just recently won a tournament, so you should go check that out. So he wanted to see my take on a Wind Warriors deck. So this is what I came up with and it runs a little spice. So this is what I call the Ninja Insects deck. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to go through the card list really quick and then I'll kind of go into the rationale afterwards. So we have an ultimate insect engine. So we have three level five and then two level seven. And we have one pinch hopper just to spice and because if you have any of these in hand, even level seven, if he gets sent, to your graveyard, you get to special summon any insect from hand. So it's like a free special summon. And it's as long as you sent to graveyard, so it doesn't even matter. And then Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, we're running three. He has 1800 attack and he destroys face up defense monsters. We're running one Lady Ninja Ye. She's a wind level three. And she discards one wind monster from your hand to the graveyard and you return all spell and trap cards on your opponent's side of the field to the owner's hand so she essentially works as a she works as a one-sided giant tree nade. and then we have sasuke samurai number four level four he's a warrior also so he's searchable by rhoda and his card effect is six so if he battles a monster whether it's on your turn or your opponent's turn, you toss a coin, and if you call heads or tails before damage, uh, and then you call heads or tails before damage calculation, and then if you call it right, you get to destroy the opponent's monster with this effect. So if you're attacking into face downs, you can swing to a face down, and if you call it correct, you can clear it from board before it gets flipped. So it's really nice. Basically, acts as kind of like a, you know, more RNG exiled force but he's essentially monster removal and then we have standard dd warrior lady exiled force we're running cyber jar since we're playing a lot of level fours one saying in to search one breaker and then we're t running double sill feed because we're actually running quite a lot of wins and then he actually helps make uh he helps push for game his effect is you just banish one wind from graveyard and then when this card's destroyed as a result of battle and sent to the graveyard, your opponent discards one random card from their hand. So they're forced to use some sort of removal, or if it's late game, then if they don't have anything in hand, then it, it could be a little bit easier. But it forces them to set <clears throat> their back row. Reinforcement of the army, double rota to search out all of our warriors. We have snatch, double brain control. So we essentially have three copies right so we can get into ultimate insect level five we have the staples pot graceful card destruction duo prima just mst and then we're running double dust tornado and we're running double dust tornado because we really like the secondary effect so that we, we can set into our call of the haunted to set up for our next turn we could you know set any of these but mainly we're setting Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. So this is the spice of the deck, and it acts as, it, it just has so many uses. It's really versatile, and I, I have some cool replays where it basically will highlight what I'm sharing right now. You activate this card by tributing one face-up ninja monster, and you get to special summon one beast, winged beast, or insect monster from your hand or deck whose level is less than or equal to the level the tributed monster had on the field, plus three. When this card leaves the field, you destroy that monster. So this card is so crazy with the deck because you're running Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke and Lady Ninja Ye. And if you have this in combination with this, you can go into your ultimate insect engine. So there's more spice to it and let me show you. So that's the deck profile. <clears throat> and you have to think of it like this because ninjutsu you tribute a face up monster a face up ninja monster on your side of the field to special summon something from either your hand or deck so it's kind of like 
a call of the haunted. It's kind of like a call of the haunted because it's a special summon, but it's from the deck, which is insane. And it's like call of the haunted because it works in the same sense that when this card leaves the field, that monster gets destroyed and vice versa. So it has that same um, kind of equip effect that call of the haunted has. But instead of summoning from grave, it special summons from your hand or deck, which is super nice. But also, what makes this card even better, and it's so fitting of the artwork, is it acts as a dodge. It acts as a smoke screen before you special summon into your big monster. So it kind of acts like an interdimensional matter transporter. I don't know if you guys have heard of that card, but it essentially allows you to banish one face-up monster onto your side of the field until the end phase. And the use of that is that it allows you to dodge things like Mirror Force. Because let's say you attack in, and then they activate Mirror Force. You can activate Interdimensional to banish your guy until end phase, and then he comes back. So it acts as a dodge. But Ninjutsu, it acts as a special summon and as a dodge. Because the monster that you tribute, it's exactly like the art. They throw down that little smoke bomb, and then they transform into one of your bigger insects, which is so cool. And trust me, if you dodge a Raigeki break or you dodge a Phoenix Wing Wind Blast because they're discarding for cost, oh man, this card is so fun. You can use it to dodge so many things. You can use it to dodge Saku. You could use it to dodge Compulse. You could use it to dodge Mirror Force. It dodges so much because it tributes that monster and then you get to special summon from deck. So something else is that you're using ninjutsu with Lady Ninja, and she's level 3, so she can get you into level 5. Also, you can also do Ninja Grandmaster, and since he's level 4, ninjutsu allows you to go plus 3 levels, and that'll get you into level 7. So you can actually go immediately into level 7 if you have ninjutsu, uh, or sorry, if you have Ninja Grandmaster, Sasuke, and ninjutsu. But the spice actually is if you tribute either of the ninjas for level five during your opponent's end phase or during your draw phase or during your standby phase, because, well, actually, okay, no, no, no. You tribute your ninjas if they last until the end phase of your opponent's turn. That's when you tribute them because you'll actually get to uh, thin your deck by a card before you draw, which is really nice. So you're gonna tribute and you're gonna go into level five. And what's really smart about going into level five, even if you have Grandmaster, which technically you can just go straight into level seven, is you go into level five during their end phase. So that way during your draw phase, you've thinned your deck of one. And then during your standby phase, you can special summon it into level seven. And then you get level seven's effect, which is I think you, all of your opponent's monsters lose either six or 700 um, attack, which is really nice. So here are some of the stratagems uh, with the deck after some play testing is honestly, Sasuke Samurai, he does so much for you. Number four, he's monster removal and he can stall because your opponent does not like attacking into him because you get the flip when it's on their turn too. And then setting your ninjutsus right away is usually a good idea because if you top deck a ninja, it can really help you push for like aggressive plays, especially because it acts as a dodge, like I mentioned before, because you can dodge effects like Saku, uh, Compulsory, Raigeki Break, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, Mirror Force, Torrential. You can dodge any destruction effect because you tribute the monster off and then you special summon from deck. And then... <clears throat> What's nice about that is you can do this during your opponent's battle phase. So it's like Call of the Haunted. It allows you to stack on additional attack. So let's say they have a clear field and you're just poking with uh, Ninja Grandmaster for 18. That's not that much, but you can poke for 18, tribute him off for a 2600 beater, and then attack again. And then that's already what, 40, 4600 damage? So that's a lot. So Ninjutsu. It's a really nice dodge. I love the artwork. I love how it's featuring uh, Ninja Lady, Lady Ninja Yay. Just cool artwork, and it fits the, the idea behind the card. 
Okay, Sylphid, so fire in this deck because he sets up game shots just out of nowhere. Because if you have your normal summon and you have a ninja grandmaster on field, that's actually a lot of that's actually a lot of attack. Because Ninja Grandmaster, he has a respectable 1800. You special summon out a Sylphid. And then let's say you have your normal summon and you bring out, let's say, uh, Samurai number four. Samurai number four and Grandmaster is already 3K. With Sylphie, that's 47, right? So you can push for game. I've definitely gone for game several times with Sylphie and a normal summon, backing up a ninja on field. Ye is a one-sided true nade on legs, which is really dope. And she discards your wind monster. So if you have those... Uh, insects kind of just chilling in hand you could discard them so that way you could use your prima or you could use your call to haunt it so it's pretty nice so this is what i mentioned before if you ninjutsu yay or even grandmaster sasuke uh during their end phase you can have level five then it'll use its effect to special summon into level seven and then you'll get level sevens uh attack deduction effect so you go level five you ninjutsu your ninja during their end phase you special summon level five and then you draw and it's nice because you thinned your deck by one card and then after you draw in your standby phase you'll use level five's effect to tribute it off to special summon level seven and since you special summon level seven properly all of your opponent's monsters will lose like i think six seven hundred attack so that's the deck. I really like it. I think it's really spicy with the ninjutsu dodge. It's really fun to use. It's a little more casual, but it runs kind of like a warrior's deck. So it's fun. And I really like Sasuke Samurai and the flips. It just makes it fun. Shout outs to Necromancy for Kids for the idea and for the recommendation and check out his profile. Um, man, I love this channel. Uh, it's been growing. I've actually noticed I'm almost at 100 subs. So I definitely like some sort of sweet profile to work on for that. I have a Ninja Dragon profile that I'm working on. I have a deck profile that Jinzo recommended to me. So I have a deck profile for that coming out, Jinzo and Tonic. So lots of content coming your guys' way. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I really appreciate the subs, the likes, the comments. and. I love some more recommendations. All right. Take care. Peace, guys.